<laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? What's this? Is that you, Benny? Benny? Are you shooting at one of my fucking teeth? What are you shooting at? Let me zoom in. Benny! Benny! Enemy soldier! Benny, motherfucker! <laughs> Too much penicillin. T-Bag. We have the upper hand. T-Bag. Get your punk ass out of here. I think Benny's upstairs. I think Benny's upstairs. Yo, what you doing in here, Benny? Yo, what you doing in here, Benny? I ain't got no C4. Damn. I'm just have to put this sport in your chest, son. School lunch. 800 bullets in this gun, son. I got about 800 bullets. Who go get this work? Who go get this work? Oh, he's dead. Ah! 800 bullets. Uh, who want this work? Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, shit. Where's your back? Mac, Mac. Turn around. Mac, turn around. Oh, my God. Yes. You owe me $2. You owe me $2. I saved your fucking life, B. What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy, Ramon. Let's talk about the Battlefield 1 is it good is it trash what is the deal uh me personally i think this game is fucking dope and it took me a while to really settle in right i mean i wasn't too happy about the step back to the world war one thing and uh, you know it, it, it just a mouth and i think i had that opinion for so long because i missed the beta right and i was a little salty that i missed the beta like the rest of the world but you know, I finally got my hands on it, and what I can tell you is this game is amazing. It took me a few days to warm up to it and to really settle in, but the game is dope, man. Starting with the graphics, I, I think they did a really good job here. I haven't seen it on the PC. In fact, I think my graphics card might be too old. It's below the minimum spec, but I'm still going to try. Uh... It looks fine on the Xbox, and I'm sure it looks fine on the PlayStation 4, and probably even runs a little smoother. Uh, but the, the graphics, the graphics are dope. The textures are nice and detailed, and maybe that's <laughs> that's probably why the game takes so long to load. I mean, the loading screens in this thing are vicious. You can be sitting at a loading screen for about three to four minutes. So maybe that's an, a testament to just how detailed the graphics and well done they are. Uh, you, you put the, the graphics with the character models, the animations are really smooth, and then you put that all together in this, this really large scale war where everything's destructible, and that's that's really the formula of Battlefield, that's where it all comes together, and it's all here, I, I mean, we're back to the Bad Company 2-ish type of destruction where, you know, people running from you in buildings, it's not a problem, just blow up the building, <laughs> and it it never gets tiring and if you you know you take a snapshot of what the map looks like before uh, the round starts and then take it after like 20 30 minutes in it's always amazing at how how the destruction just carries on in this game as time goes on i, I think it's i think it's super dope i have no complaints with the graphics uh, the sound uh, is just amazing never heard anything like it we have lost objective apple. EA uh, has always captured uh, a great sound with Battlefield series. We're talking uh, the sound of the, the voiceovers when you're doing things like pointing out enemies, when you're reloading, when your squad members asking for help, footsteps, uh, directional sound with the airplanes flowing by, uh, 
the sound of bullets off in the distance, explosions off in the distance, or even explosions right in front of you. Things like the ringing in your ear when they, the, the percussion goes off close to you. Like, that stuff's super dope. And, and I must say, this is definitely uh, the best sounding game that I've ever heard in my life. My God, this game is a treat to turn up loud. Doesn't matter if you're playing it over some loud speakers or you're even playing it over uh, in your headphones. This thing's amazing, especially when you put it on war tapes. That's an option in the audio. You guys check that out. Make sure you toggle it to war tapes and, and just get a load of that. I don't think a lot of people know about war tapes. But yeah, the sound, the sound is, is just amazing. And when you take uh, the graphics plus the sound and put it together, Battlefield 1 is definitely an experience. And I, I think it's more of an experience than I've ever felt with any other Battlefield game. And uh, I, I think that's, that says a lot, right? Because Battlefield 3 was super dope. 4, I think, was a pinnacle, although it never worked. But here, they took it back to this World War One thing where, uh, you know, the characters look different, the weapons sound different, and it, it really does a good job of, of capturing that sound from a time machine, if you will. Uh, what would it have sound like in war back then? You know, there's people screaming in the trenches. It's just, it's super wild when when these guys get shot. They're, they're very dramatic in the noises they make. And uh, it just all comes together to give a great feeling game. Uh, in terms of the gameplay, I mean, not a lot has changed. But I think they continue to refine everything. So... I'm getting stuck on a lot less walls. I see a lot less glitches. Not to say there aren't any. I haven't seen any. Uh, I'm sure there are glitches. And in, in Battlefield 4, we all saw glitches the first hour of that game. So just to put that in perspective, I've got maybe 15 hours in on the game. And I haven't seen anything game breaking yet. Uh, so everything's smooth. Even the horses jumping over shit's kind of smooth. Uh, there's really no complaint. They they took their time to refine the experience. And and I'm very happy about that. The the classes are still here. You've got your assault, you've got your support, you got medic, sniper. Then there are two additional classes with uh, these anti-vehicle dudes that you can, uh, I guess it's a kit, sort of like a power-up you can pick up on the map. And then the other one's this wild dude with a flamethrower. So that's cool. Then they do this thing where if you're in a tank, you don't really have your kit. You, you're like this default tank technician kit. And the same for a pilot. When you get out of the airplane, you don't have your default kit. You got the same, you know, whatever shitty weapon a pilot would have. Because, of, of course, you're not going to hop in a plane with a full loadout. So I think that's dope. That's that's a nice balance there. Uh, noticeably missing is jumping off of walls. You don't get a parachute. Only pirates get a parachute. Uh, pirates. <laughs> Only pilots get a parachute. So I thought that was cool as well. Uh, there's things like the rocket launcher from the assault class. You have to use it. Either you can uh, put it up like a bipod on a ledge, or you you have to use it prone if there's no ledge. So that brings a balance. That means you know you you actually have to think about it. It's it uh it's not as as free flowing as rocket launches used to be in the past. So uh, I like I really like that. Uh, the sniper class is kind of dope. I, I think I think the sniper class got a lot of the cool tools like the claymores. They got the uh, the flares that you can see who's around you the medic class by far although uh although it's i guess it's more of a support class uh i find the medic class to be the deadliest because those those dmr type guns that they get are wild strong super accurate and you can put them on fully auto if you want so i i really like that i think that's dope the assault guys running around with the smgs uh, they get the anti-tank grenades. Uh, I think they get the dynamite as well. And they get the rocket launcher. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a balance because their guns aren't that strong. They don't do shit at range. But if, the, if an assault guy runs up on you, you're probably dead. Uh, the DPS on those guns are fairly high. And, and then there's the support. My least favorite class. I, I like playing with the ammo. But, my God, those support weapons are terrible. Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to unlock a few of them to see which one I like the best. But... 
I don't know. I'm not a fan of the support class at all. Now, talking about unlocks, they, they did something interesting here. And this is what I've always wondered. You know, when I heard World War One, oh great, so we don't get any scopes. Uh, not the case. Scopes are here. There's even red dots. They're not as pronounced and as modern as you would think they would be in a video game from <laughs> something from the World War One era. But uh, it all works. There's scopes. There's there's uh, red dots. There's uh, I guess essentially what happens is there's a variation of a gun. So for each class, there's about four different guns, and for each gun, there's about four different variations. So that gives you 20 different options to pick from, and of course, you need to buy each one. So you start out with what's called a factory. No mods, no nothing. Then there's a version uh, called optical where it gets like a red dot on there. It gets a, a basic scope. And that scope, you can customize uh, what it looks like. You can get a red dot, you can get a circle, you can get a crosshair. And you can even pick the magnification of it. So you can go anywhere from two and a half times to one and a half times or just one. I thought that was dope. There's this recoil thing they add in there. Uh, I, I don't really understand it. I think it's for people who prefer to have their recoil go left or right. Because from what I've seen in the game, there really isn't much of that recoil. Uh, then there's the outside of the optical gun. You have things like a trench gun which has a different grip on it and it has increased hip fire and then outside of the trench gun you have like the marksman gun so the marksman gun again it's the same rifle but it just has a better scope it has a better grip for longer range uh the hip fire is lower the the recoil is lower the reload time might be higher so it, it's it's a dope dynamic that you get where you sort of have the same gun with the same damage and characteristic but there's there's different the way it behaves or the situational differences is, is sort of key and i like that i think it was i think hardline was kind of kind of like that so more of that concept there it, it's fine then there's the there's the things to unlock in the battle packs and money that's how you you pretty much purchase the guns you want uh, i think it's it works well everything works well together uh in terms of game modes Everything here is familiar except for two new modes. So you've got your conquest, which is, you know, the large scale hold down a, an area type of gameplay. Then there is, uh, what is it? I forgot the other one, demolition or something, whatever the hell the other one is. It's pretty much conquest. Well, oh, domination is pretty much conquest without the vehicles, which I quite like. <laughs> vehicles get very annoying sometimes. There's team deathmatch, there's rush. And I'm happy to say Rush seems very balanced here. It seems like they took their time and, and created the maps to actually have a decent Rush. Uh, I, I really do like the Rush in this game. The One of the new game modes is is something in Dove or Pigeon. I think I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know. It's sort of like a capture the flag, which you, you play with a bird and run it back. I, I haven't played it yet. I really don't plan on playing it. But I guess I'll touch it one day. Uh, the new one, the, the other new one's called Operation, which is this episodic-like conquest slash domination gameplay tug of war. Uh, I really like it. Uh, what I what I do like about it is it, it's, like I said, it's sort of a mix between Rush and Conquest. But in Battlefield 4, when you would get these large 64-player Rush games, it would be just terrible. There was no room to move, and it was just a clusterfuck. It was almost too many people. It was almost too many people for such a small area of the map. Here, it looks like this game was created to improve on that. So now you you do really get that proper feeling that you meant to get from Rust with the two objectives, and and so many more people. I I like it. I quite like the mayhem that goes on here. If I had to. Uh, rate Battlefield. I don't like rating it. I would rate it pretty fucking high to tell you the truth. It probably gets like a four and a half out of five. This is definitely a buy. I, I mean, the, the only thing that I would say you need to worry about is your acceptance to the World War II era. Although, I'm sorry, World War One. Although I will say that EA's done a great job at creating atmosphere and voiceovers and the weapon sounds and the airplanes. I mean, the, the planes themselves are uh, a lot slower than we're used to in Battlefield. Uh, they're a lot more vulnerable. Like I've been able to damage damage planes from the ground with, with my assault DMR and, and do some pretty good damage. And I think that's cool. 
and uh you know it is what it is there's the big ass blimp rolling around the tanks are with the exception of that one tank that i would say is sort of like the amtrak tanks are are more vulnerable than they've ever been in battlefield especially if you play as a team and take them down so there's that i i kind of like that uh, i feel like it's it's battlefield when you when you sit down and play it you sort of if you're not too happy about the world war one thing when you sit down and play it, it it just fades away and it just becomes battlefield uh i think they did a really good job here you know kudos to these guys and and uh the only thing left here at this point is what will the dlc look like because uh, and i know it wasn't dice but visceral definitely fumbled the dlc game with uh with the hardline series so i know a lot of people are cautiously looking at this like are we going to get the same level of dlc the same amount of dlc as we did in battlefield 4 uh my thing is i don't think we will because a lot a lot was given to us in battlefield 4 as a makeup uh, or as a i'm sorry for the dumb shit that was happening to that game from launch it took them almost two years to fix it and they just kept giving us free things to apologize this game works flawless out the gate you know the servers may not be as populated yet because i'm still on the early access but um everything works here i see very little glitching very little server issues and i'm just i'm worried about the dlc let's let's see how they handle it but yeah thank you for checking out the video hit that like button if you like it don't forget to subscribe there's plenty more content coming my name is ramon and i'm out of here peace